Mr. Operator? Uh, yes, uh, Congressman uh, John Conyers. A moment. Conyers office? Uh, yes, hello. I'm calling about, um, I guess, the, uh, the issue of uh, uh, voter fraud, or not voter fraud, but election tampering. Um, and I have a, a book here. <laughs> it's rather shocking. Um, it's by a British journalist, Palast, or Palast. Palast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, on page, uh, there's a book called Armed Madhouse that he wrote. Yes. Uh, t yeah, are you familiar with it? Yes. Oh, good. I know Mr. Palast. Oh, you do? Oh, cool. Well, uh, can I ask? <laughs> uh, there's a... Uh, you need to call Mr. Palace and ask him about his book. No, no, I need to call you because this is rather shocking what's in Mr. Palace's book, uh, whether the co uh, Congress is going to look into any of this. Uh, on page 233, it has a photocopy of um, a poll tape from uh, New Mexico. Um... Yeah, from the 2004 election. Hey, sir, what, what do you want to tell me? What is the message, to Mr. Conyers? You want to cut me off, eh? Listen, I, I have to say, I get so tired of being cut off. I get so tired of being cut off about important things. Uh -huh. I think here's my message to Mr. Conyers. I think I think Greg Palace so is right. Calling? What? You have a name, so I can tell him who's calling. Your call. You take what? care. Bye bye. Thank you for using Sprint. You were the one that just hung up on me? What's your name? I'm recording this, by the way. I'm in a, huh? I didn't just hang up on anyone, so no, it wasn't me. Well, who else is working in the office that just hung up on me? I gotta, maybe they should be fired. Is there another woman there? Yes. What's her name? Her first name? There she just few, hung up on me. There are a few other women here, sir. Well, I just... I, she cut me off... It, she said she was going to take a message, and I think she was lying to me. Okay, who well, was I that person who hung up before? Huh? I apologize for that. I can take your message. Well, I, here's what I'm going to do, because I'm so sick of dealing with people who don't listen, especially in Washington. Actually, it's the, it's really severe in Washington. So I'm recording this now. And this other person, I don't know who it is. I don't know how many women you got working there right now. But she should not be, I don't think she should be working in the Capitol, really. She hangs up on people like this. Okay. Okay. Well, now, I'm recording this. This will go out as John Con my two, at least two phone calls to John Conyers' office. I'm recording this as a video, and it's going to go on YouTube. You can tell the person that hung up on me, the stupid, in, uh, impolite, clueless person, that's going to go on. She's going to go, thank you for calling. Wham! That's going to go on. And then the rest of the conversation, I maybe I get some information out of it. Okay? So you guys are already looking bad. <laughs> okay. And you know, I'd love to talk to that person because, see, I was talked about this book by Palast or Palast? Yes, Greg Palast. You know him. Good. You know him. So I don't have to start from scratch again. Well, Mr. Conyers knows him. He has a relationship with him. They talk, you know, infrequently. They have spoken in the last month or so, I would say. They have. Yes. Well, that's what I wanted, and this is what I'm going to broadcast, is that I'm reading his famous, rather famous now, since the guy got tasered, uh, the, the, the Yellow Book, you know, the, the Armed Madhouse book? Are you familiar with that book? Yes. There's a whole chapter on vote fraud. It's probably 40 or 50 pages. Is John Conyers going to do anything about the vote for? But basically, Palast, or I don't know how you pronounce it, 
said that 2000 was stolen and 2004 was stolen, both elections. Mr. Conyers has said basically the same thing. Really? Is he going to do anything about it? about it himself. Is he going to do anything about it? Because here, I'm looking on page 233, 233. There's a photocopy of a poll tape from New Mexico from 2004. There's a, it's a copy of a poll tape. Somebody got a hold of a poll tape. I don't know how they did manage that because that's pretty hard because they destroyed them, you know, illegally destroyed them. But um, John Kerry isn't listed as one of the selections on this, well, on the, the copy of the poll tape. First of all, let me tell you that you're speaking to Mr. Conyers' personal office, not the Judiciary Committee office. That you know, don't, uh, you know listen, can I tell you how lame that's going to go over with this? Well, not this, this, this is this is going to you know what here, here let me let me put my commentary in. This is your typical dodge. The typical I dodge. dodge no, I can transfer you to them. No, <laughs> I want what is Conyers going to do? Well, is, is any the legislative action that he would take, any investigations that he would conduct, which he has already done and is continuing to do, would all be conducted by the Judiciary Committee. Why don't you ask his staff person there? Is they the are congressman an entirely different office on another floor? What what, what is he has an entirely separate staff to staff? I want to know what committee. Congressman we Conyers have staff that represent the 14th congressional district. Yeah, no, no, Michigan. no. I want to know what John Conyers is going to do, not the Judiciary Committee, which is about what 40 people. 